my people, my people, it's your boy Kebu Kebu TV on the MIT. That calls for another very big, massive landmark project here in the city center of Adiak State. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, today is a very great day. We are uh, Dr. Lex Shoma Oti. It's a flagging of the construction of the Tumba to Mbaba. I mean, I mean, say, and I have a but now, before a little and one more bar. 19, uh, total number for 19.1 kilometer road. And this is uh, through the consultants in the world that are for every associate and also the Super uh, Concept Limited. So, and the uh, it's all coming down today being 2nd of uh, October 2024 and then on the event place is Ben where you can also see the sign up uh, the somebody of the company that is going to be starting on this very project so oh, a very great, a, a very great uh, addition or, or adding a white cap uh, a white feather, a feather to, to the cap of His Excellency Dr. Les Chemarosi so on our photo today life and the so we will also be listening and also uh, uh, updating you guys on this very project so stay tuned on Cable Cable TV for more beautiful this is one of the most important um, structures or infrastructure the governor is bringing to our local government this is a road that connects all the rural area all the way towards Aba Township and across until you join the town and get across to Podakot and the rest of it. Um, in the past, people have ignored this. One of the joy or happiness we have here is that we got a governor who can look at us and look at our rural area and try to bring progress. We see this as a... Look, Isia South is a rural community. Any road that's constructed to help our people take our rural products to the city for marketing is great progress. So that's what we see this road doing for us. That's why we are so proud of Dr. Alex Oti as our governor. He's a local boy. He's from this local government. So this is something of pride for all of us, for him, for me, the mayor, for his people. Thank you. Thank you Thank you. All right. Thank you. I am the general manager for IAC Allied Technical and Construction Company Limited, the contractor for this amazing project. Okay, sir, so we want to know um, what the project will cost and um, how long it will take to complete it. Um, when we were given this project, we had the mandate of an 18 month lifespan. But from the way we have seen the topography on ground and the way the people need this road, we are assuring to deliver this road in the next plus or minus 12 months we're out of here that's why you see we have a large deployment of all the equipment that will be needed to make sure that this project is delivered in record time um yesterday i was here and i saw how important this road is to the market people around here and to the entire community so we, we, we felt it was important for us to deploy the best of the best in terms of um, the engineering manpower and as you can see i came here well prepared with my entire team after the flag off today, this project will commence immensely. Okay, sir, um, we understand you're also handling the half hour Chukwu road and you're also giving us 18 months. How do you intend to manage this too? Okay, so IAC is not just a, a construction company. It's, um, it's a global brand, local global brand. Um, we are not just doing the Aro Chukwu or half hour road. We're not just doing this one. We have um, capacity to handle very many projects all around the country. We are doing, we are, we are virtually in a lot of states uh, where we're doing, especially for the federal government of Nigeria. So we have the very capacity to, you know, go ahead and deliver all this project in record time because our engineering team is robust. We are made up of both Nigerian professionals and of course our expatriates, of course. Okay, so are you sharing of quality on this road? Um, you see, one thing about quality, we, we do not, we do not go to places where we will come back. We want to make sure that when we enter a site, we deliver the site in record time and with world standard quality. Because it doesn't make sense that the person who gives you the road, before the person's administration elapses, the road is already damaged. And one thing I know about this particular state and the governor is the fact that he gives you a mandate and he tells you, go and do it. We don't want to repeat it again. And ever since we've started working, uh, we have never had a reason to go back to go, you know, for any quality. Uh, Plus, there are different um, um, check mechanisms that is being put to place to check the work we are doing. Of course, from ramp, 
from state ministry of works and of course they have an external um team that will be supervising everything that we do so uh, assuring uh, we're assuring the general public of great quality of work okay sir please can you let us into the cost of this road this road um when it comes to the delivery cost of this road it is very i can tell you that if we're going by today's rates the company will not take this road but because of the way we want to see that we deliver not just for the money purpose but for the fact that it is a rural road that will deliver dividends of democracy for the people we thought it was good to take the road so this road is between three point something it's about 19.5 kilometers it's about three point something billion naira. but if we're going by today's um rates this project will not be delivered with that cost but one thing we're saying well we have a section of our company that is the corporate social responsibility where we we look at not just the money we look at a way we can deliver for mankind like we said we are all around the country and there are some projects that you just go just for the people this is one of such projects have you been mobilized yes of course um when you're working in abia state one of the things the governor does is to make sure that every agency every parastatal that is handling any project in this state the governor will make sure that everything you need to go to site is given and as you can see we have our cast of all our machines on site if you go towards the back you're going to see a lot of our equipment are already coming in some more equipment are coming in and um of course the sand and the chippings and everything we're going to use to start this work as soon as the flag off is finished the job starts immediately thank you very thank much you. thank you very much autonomous community itungwa okay. his royal highness is a engineer bid on a bomb uh is a hat too of it i have autonomous community itungwa uh so they made the, the, uh, this particular road? yeah we, we feel that we are the major beneficiary of this road uh as you can recollect this road the project is the pro, the, okay the project is itungwa uh amiri omoba so we are the paramount community of this project and if you come from a commercial point of view we are the community that will have access to the railroad and the railroad starts functioning and uh my marketing project at the community has incorporated uh palm canal distribution and uh and uh, cassava which has not been in the in the past uh 10 15 years and uh this community here this community from here to umulelu is a big part of the market and they would they share about 50 percent of the market that's why we're very excited that's why i came with the my community uh the is in, in council and uh, the women leaders everybody are here with us today we came with our traditional dances and uh, we are grateful that they um that they they i've forgotten their name the aarp invited us they came to my palace about uh six days ago and they invited us to come and we had to come to show our appreciation to the governor for uh, trying to uh, do this project and we are hoping and pleading that uh, he will do it like he normally does his projects quick uh, so that we have the complete access we need also one other thing we are, we are we would like the governor to know today is that our community is uh, basically ravaged the youth do, does not have good employment if there's any way the contractor can incorporate a certain percentage of our youth in the workforce we will make sure that they will be productive and we also pledged to help you know protect the equipment and their human resources anywhere we can we have a 30 uh, member uh, community policing which is very active they are preeminent here today they will help make sure that the equipment and the personnel are completely uh, protected okay. that's my uh, promise to the the governor and uh, the contractor. Thank, Thank you very so much, good. sir. Yeah, I feel delighted. This place has been ecologically challenged for many years ago. It is of very paramount importance to our youth, our farm, uh, our farmers. Mainly, we have a daily market at the Tunga. They cannot access the road due to the bad condition of the road. 
But thank God today that our Amiable Governor have come to our rescue, Dr. Alex Oti, Choma. We thank him so much. This road will be of so much beneficial to our people so that our farm produce can be easily transported from Ishalangwa South down there in Obiwa. We have a daily market that is, even the people coming from Omaha normally come there and people from Aba normally come there. But due to how the bad condition of this road, they cannot access uh, to the market so easy. So we are so happy on behalf of the youth of my community. I say kudos to the governor and to the contractors who give you an enabling environment so that they will do their work diligently and successful. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's your name again? Azubi K. John Tom Red. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you. It's a very colorful and also unique, very important program here in the people of Omooba or Mboko or Odiungba as well because this 19.1 kilometer road connects so many uh, so many local governments. You can also see the mayor of Oishia Longwa South and also the mayor of Obiungba local government alongside with the commissioner for works at the access on the level of the road.